Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about doing a hypothesis test for two categorical variables, otherwise known as the chi-squared. So a hypothesis test for chi-squared is what we're doing today. Now, you've just recently been introduced to hypothesis testing, at least in the series of videos that I'm creating. Here, it's probably the first time that we've seen an actual hypothesis test and actually performing it for a specific type of data. Now we're still going to be using that FRED method and we're gonna be using that because it creates some consistency. We can remember to do everything. It's kind of our checklist for doing things right. So in that FRED with the hypothesis test for chi-squared, the first thing we have is formulating the problem. Now we've done this lots of times before. The first thing that you need is to state the population. And then the next thing that you'll do is state the variable or variables of interest. Now here, because we're talking about two categorical variables, you're gonna be stating two variables here instead of just the one like we've had in the past. And the other thing that you want to do besides just stating them is you wanna check that they're actually both categorical because if they're not both categorical, the methods that I'm showing you in this set of videos wouldn't be appropriate. And that's one thing that students actually, I've noticed, often forget when they see two variables, if they're outside of my class and they've gone into doing some of this analysis on their own, they think, oh, I'll do a chi-squared, I have two variables. But then they'll have a big list of variables that are actually quantitative and it's just representing all of the quantitative numbers that they had. So don't make that mistake yourself. Make sure that both variables are categorical in order to perform this hypothesis test for chi-squared. Then the next thing you'll do, if it's appropriate, is to write the parameter of interest. Now, for these and for the type of information that we're providing with you in this series of videos, we're not gonna talk about a parameter of interest. But we are going to move into the next part of our formulating the problem, which is new for us. We're going to write our null and alternative hypotheses. Now, this is a generic video, so we won't be writing it specific to data, but I'm going to remind you that H sub O, this is our null hypothesis, and H sub A is our alternative hypothesis. Alternative, let's run out of room. Now with this, because we're doing a hypothesis test for two categorical variables, what we're actually going to be interested in is if they're related or if there's an association between the two. Now the null is always gonna be that there's no association. Now I always tell students easy to remember H sub O goes with no. And then H sub A is that there is an association or a, no, there's an association. So H sub A goes with A association or an association. So that's how you can remember those two. So that's the first portion of hypothesis testing for chi-squared. Next, we're gonna move into um, the review conditions. See you there.